Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to continue our frame of motion video series, which I started like some weeks back. So in the previous video, if you remember, we covered up gesture animation. We covered up a few gesture animation like hover, tap, drag, focus. Previous video was mostly focused on drag. We created a simple example where we had this circle and we were able to drag it. And while dragging, it had a lot of animations, like uh, when I drag it and leave it, right? It basically snaps back to origin and when i drag it you see this background color is getting changed of the circle and it's also getting a little big or you can say it scales up when i drag it so those were some of the an animations which we uh, you know tried when we were dragging this in this video we are going to uh, cover up new concept which is variant so basically we will learn what are variants and how you can use variants to basically create beautiful animations right so what exactly are variants Variants are basically kind of like an object where you can provide some different sets of animation and those sets of animations will be able to propagate through the DOM and you will be able to orchestrate those animations. Now what does it mean? So they have a simple example over here like when you click on this drop down button, right? So two types of animations happen over here. So the first animation happens on this drop down button. You can see this arrow button is getting rotated. And the second animation is happening over here, like a drop down select items are getting visible when you basically click on it, right? And the children items, this item one, item two, it, al it also has some kind of animation. You see it basically comes uh, with a little delay, right? So uh, let me show you the code. What exactly is a variant? You see this variance is kind of like an object where you provide different sets of animation. Like you have open animation. So in this open, you have like three types of CSS properties that you're animating. And then you have different sets of animation uh, for the closed property. Now, how would you use this? So basically, uh, they are using this animate property. And inside this, they're writing that whenever this dropdown is open, they want to use the open variant. That means they want to use uh, this set of animation. And when the dropdown is closed, they want to use this set of animation, right? And also, you see that uh, like, let's say this, this is true. Suppose let's say is open value is true. So variant is used. So the variant which will be used is the open one, right? So this open variant will be able to propagate through the DOM elements. What does that mean is like, uh, you see this navigation has a lot of items, right? This has uh, the button and then it has a division as well. It has this SVG element as well. And then it has uh, an, an order list as well. So, Basically, let's say uh, this is true and the variant is open. So all the children items will be able to use this current variant, right? So that's what basically it means is uh, you will be able to understand it more in more detail when I'll show you one example. So let's do that. What I'll do is I'll open my VS code editor and I already have one uh, server started up over here. It's at localhost 5173. I started this project uh, like when I started this video series, uh, you can also go to my GitHub repository. It's in frame of motion components and you can clone this repository and, you know, start the server and code along with me if you want to. So yeah, let me minimize this. <coughs> uh, let's try one variance example and you will be able to know what exactly are variants and how you can basically utilize them. Uh, so currently I'm in app.jsx and I'll just simply uh, remove all these things and I'll make a new component. Let's give it name emojis animation. So in this video, I'm going to make uh, emojis reaction animation, which you see in maybe LinkedIn or Facebook. I mean, it will be quite similar, maybe 80%. So let's make that. So first we have to make this component. Uh, we are creating all our components in the frame of components directory. So let's create a new file over here. Let's give it name emojis animation dot JSX. Uh, let's give a template. You can type RFC and press tab, right? It gives you a simple template of react. Let me import this component in my app dot JSX. You can press control space and it will automatically import this file, right? So as you can see here, uh, our new component is coming, right? So let's create some divisions over here. So so the so this division will have two things right so first will be button which will sh uh, which will say show emojis right and we will have one more division 
which will basically contain uh, some emojis right so it'll have various span elements and it'll contain various emojis let's say the first emoji is this one uh, then we have let's say almost five emojis and all emojis will be different second emoji can be this one third can be this one fourth can be this one and fifth can be this one right so let me give some tailwind css classes to it so it will be flex justify uh, between or evenly i guess and i want its width to be fixed you can have maybe width 64 <coughs> height can be 12 uh, background can be white and for all these span elements i want uh, bg to be transparent uh, let me copy this and paste it in all my span elements because emojis they have uh, a fixed or constant background color you can say that's why i'm doing this so let's see how it's looking okay great uh, let's make it rounded full and let's give some padding to it as well maybe around four and items center great it's looking great uh, also let's try to uh, make emojis a little bigger because it's kind of small so text for excel would would be great or 2xl okay 3xl is looking great uh, let me give some margin to it as well so it will be empty 10 and i want it to be in a center great and also i want it to be flex call so that button comes below and item center great and i want space y to be around four or maybe six so that between button and emojis some spacing is there right so let me give some styling to my button as well it will be bg sky 500 uh, text would be white font bold let me see how it's looking okay so let's give some padding to it maybe around four and maybe we can give px uh, 8 py uh, 2 <coughs> and let's give it a rounded maybe 3xl great uh, let's not give it uh, rounded maybe a uh, rounded md would look great i guess yeah this seems fine i guess and also font should be semi bold maybe great so now what we're going to do is basically we will be clicking on this show emoji button and this emoji div should be visible right and when i click on show emoji again this emoji division should become invisible okay so let's keep some kind of state to do that we will keep one state its name will be show emojis uh, set show emojis <coughs> so initially it will have false value right and as you okay so basically this is not imported that's why we are, we are seeing a blank picture over here so let me import it first and yeah now we will be using this state where you can use this state okay we'll use this state later but let's first uh, add a click event over here so whenever this button is clicked what i want to do is we basically uh, want to set this show emoji to the opposite value of whatever value it had earlier right and also i want to change the text of this so basically uh, when uh, i don't have any emojis sorry so when you don't have any emojis i want to show this text show emojis otherwise i want to show this text hide emojis so let's test it first uh, okay so here it will be colon great so when I click on it uh, its text should change right so let's see yeah its text is changing great so this click event is working fine and also I want cursor uh, to be pointer when I like hover over this uh, button right great now let's create the animation for this we will be using variants for this so what we can do is uh, we will 
create uh, we, we will basically use framer motion here so you can import motion from framer motion and before this div which contains the emojis you can write motion dot dev and you can write it here as well similarly you can write uh, motion with all the span right let me uh, press option uh, in windows you can press alt to do this so basically i'll uh, write in all these elements motion dot together right great so what i'll do is i'll use the variants over here so you can uh, write animate and curly braces twice you can write so basically uh, whenever you want to show images i want to use uh, show variant otherwise i want to use hide variant right <coughs> great uh, let me see uh, this example uh, one minute so i think they're using it like this right S okay so single curly braces will be here i did a mistake so basically what i'm writing over here is uh, whenever this state is true i want to use the show variant otherwise i want to use the hide variant so i ha i haven't created these variants right so let's first create those variants so you can create uh, variant one and inside this you can create two variants first will be show and it ha it will have some different an animation then second will have different animation right so what we want to do is uh, let's see our uh, UI so basically whenever I click on this button this should become visible with some uh, animation right so what you can do is uh, we can change the opacity to 1 right and for this we can just simply change opacity to 0 right so let's test this first so how would I use this variant so you can just simply write uh, variants over here and you can mention your name name of the variant right so let's see whether it is working or not so when I click on this button emojis should become visible right as you can see there is, is some kind of delay and yeah animation is happening right now next thing what we want to do is uh, the children elements or you can say the emojis which are inside this division uh, we also want to show some kind of animation to it whenever we click on this button right so let's do that as well so let's create a variant two that will be for the emojis right so again that will have same uh, variants right uh, css properties will also be same uh, one thing you could do uh, like whenever we want to show uh, the emojis we will have some kind of slight um, you can say uh, x replacement right or you can say like whenever uh, I show the emojis these emojis uh, emojis should be traveling to the X little bit like you will you would see some kind of animation like it's traveling from here to here right so what you can do is you can basically make X position to uh, zero I believe uh, let's test it I'm not sure whether that will work and for this I want to make X position minus 100 right so let's use uh, variance over here and I want to use variant great and uh, we will be using same variants for all the emojis so you can just copy paste it in all your span elements and let's see okay great let's see whether our animation is working or not so we uh, wrote this uh, x logic like uh, whenever we want to show emoji this x should be at 0 and otherwise it should be at minus 100 so you will see some kind of uh, x replacement over here so let's see uh, let me refresh this and when I click on this as you can see my emojis are coming from the left hand side with some you know uh, distance traveling so yeah uh, let's try to add some more animation and like uh, if this does not work for you what you can do is uh, like we are basically writing animate over here you can shift this and you can also write it over here in your parent division uh, let's make this motion dot and wherever it, it was closing we can make that uh, motion dot so let me tell you why I am writing this 
so that's the benefit of variance is like it basically is able to propagate to all the children element right so in this case i have written my variance in the parent element right so this is my parent division right I mean, you can also make this as a parent division, that's fine. But for our case, I'm making this division as a parent division. And here I'm writing when the emoji state is true, I want to use the show variant, otherwise hide variant. And this variant will be able to propagate uh, to all these children element. As you can see here, I'm using different variants and here I'm using different variants, right? So let's say this show variant is used. So for this variant also show animations will be used. And for this variants also show animation will be used. But in both of these objects, you see this show contains different sets of animation, right? Great. So that's the benefit of variant that it's able to propagate to all the children elements, right? Uh, let's try to use the orchestration properties. So by orchestration, uh, basically we have uh, these uh, access, like uh, the properties, uh, access of these properties, and you can use these. So here you can see the example. So basically they want to have this animation before the children elements and they want to delay the children by 0.3. So let's try this one. Let me copy this and I'll use this on my uh, this division, this outer division. And this is here and I'll be using it in the variant one. So let's try this. And yeah, this seems fine. And also here I would want this animation to be after chill uh, children. Great. Mm, yeah, let's try this one. Let me save it. Uh, let me refresh this one. And when I click on show emojis, so the outer division will appear first. And then the children, as you can see, one by one, the children's are appearing. And now if I click on hide emojis, so as you can see, this will hide after the children's are hidden. So when I click on this first children items will be hidden and then the parent. So let's see. Yeah. So when I click on this, as you can see, children items are coming after the parent one and now it will be reverse. Great. So in this way, you can use the orchestration properties and then we have dynamic variance as well. Uh, we'll cover up this one in the future video. So this is a new concept. Basically, you will be able to use some kind of variable inside your variance. Currently in your variance, uh, you are like directly uh, basically changing the CSS properties, right? It doesn't have any variable. Now, let's say you want to use some kind of variable in it. As you can see here, they are showing this delay based on this I variable, right? So we'll cover this up in more detail in the next video. So in this video, we just covered up how you can use basically a variance and you know create a animation like this where you can basically show emojis and as you can see there, there was there was some kind of delay between children and parent element right so that's happening because of this orchestration properties so yeah i hope you uh, learned something new in this video and using these variants you can create a cool ton of animation so yeah see you in the next video keep learning keep coding thank you guys